Hi. We've heard a lot about APs in 6 gigahertz with all AFC and other requirements. I just thought of highlighting a few points regarding clients and the various nuances in 6 gigahertz. My name is uh, Srikant and I am with NanoCell Networks. So quick recap. Most of our current implementations worldwide is uh, 6 gigahertz indoors. Of course, some countries have different rules and regulations. Just picking on FCC in the US being such a dominant regulator and a dominant market. Uh, indoor APs have been out in the market. The Wi-Fi 6E certification is up and running. It limits the powers of the APs, but it also limits the power of the client. A maximum EARP along with a strict power spectral density uh, in the US it's about minus 1 dBm per megahertz. Of course in the case of APs it's 5 dBm per megahertz encouraging higher bandwidth implementation but the clients are also limited to minus 1 dBm per megahertz. Okay so in a certain sense there are requirements from the client side as well when it comes to the Wi-Fi 6E from a regulatory perspective. What about when we are starting to have the standard power, the external antenna having AP, outdoor APs, which will all implement AFC in regulatory domains like US, what are the requirements on the client side? Will our standard low power client devices which we just saw with some rules be able to connect to those standard power APs seamlessly? The quick answer is not so straightforward because the standard power implementations, I'm just using standard power as an overall way to signify anything other than LPI, they require slightly different rules. For example, there is no strict minus 1 dBm per megahertz in uh, FCC like domain for the clients. However, clients need to have power control implemented. They have to operate 6 dB below the AP. So which means that if your AP is operating at 24 dBm, a client cannot exceed 18 dBm. Now the question is, are our current client implementations which have all been LPI focused going to work smoothly in let's say the standard power implementations okay what are some things to be followed so the first thing is how will the client even know that i'm listening to a, a lpi ap with a standard power ap so there are provisions in the 802.11 beacon probe responses frames where information about power regulations to be followed is there in transmit power envelope uh, which mode the AP is operating LPI or otherwise is going to be available and the transmit power envelope along with the country information and HE operation details should give the client information about the EIRP PSD limits because there could be variation across the regulatory domains. Not all countries might follow this exact same rules. So there is information in the standard in various fields for the clients to know whether they are connecting to an LPI AP or whether they are seeing a standard power AP and whether they are allowed to operate here. What are we expecting to see in the market? I think there are two broad categories of clients that we expect to see in the commercial world. The one which is probably out in the market is the LPI client, which can connect to an LPI AP, follow the PSD and EIRP limits uh, based on country information along with the transmit power envelope. It might involve controlling power according to the bandwidth of the transmission. At least that's what, for example, the US rules say. And probably many first gen Wi-Fi 6E clients are falling in this bucket. The question is, can they connect to those standard power outdoor external antenna containing APs which will need AFC? Not so straightforward. 
because those clients which will understand the language that is being put out by these APs will fall under most likely the dual mode client bracket. Are all six gigahertz client going to support this dual mode? Definitely some of these first gen clients already out there probably don't understand some of the languages that we are expecting them to follow in the standard power mode. Later generation clients, for example, we are seeing that some of the recently announced high-end devices, they seem to have the ability to understand both the LPI AP rules as well as the standard power rules. So those are the ones which will connect to, you know, APs of both types and they'll control transmit power according to what the, you know, AP's power level is. Uh, whereas in the case of the LPI mode, Remember that there is no transmit power control in accordance with the AP. It's just obeying some PSD and EARP limits of the regulatory domain. So in the future, my, don't expect that all six gigahertz capable clients will connect your AFC enabled AP, okay? Because some of these first gen clients might not connect to your AFC, uh, controlled AP. So that's something one might have to keep in mind if you are implementing it for say an enterprise or similar such applications where you estimated that all six gig clients will probably favor that band. Thank you for listening. For more information, please take a look at our website. We also offer courses through Wi-Fi Now Academy. Thank you.